All right, I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to get the accessories smooth really, really quickly with not much messing about. So first off, you wanna sand them. I've sanded these at 40 grit, and then I've sanded them again at 60 grit. And they're quite, even though they're printed at 0 0.2, they're not amazing quality. You can see the lines in them there, look. So I've sanded them best I can. Do not skip this step because a, you want to get them a little bit smoother than they are, but B, you want to have a good key for the next products that we're going to use. Now, you'll have seen me use this and other people in various forms. It's UV resin, 3D printer UV resin. I used to spray it through an air compressor, but then um, I couldn't breathe, so I stopped doing that because all my friends were telling me that I'm insane, so I stopped. Then you can sponge it on. Um, but we are going to do something a little bit different and I'll show you now. So what you want to do, if you can, I bought loads of uh, UV resin, like a big multi-pack, like five or six or something, because they were on offer and I just filled a big ice cream tub full of it. You can, this was full to the brim, so I've used quite a lot of it on various helmets and stuff. And I've not shared this technique because I wanted to wait. Um, basically, get UV light go in get that to hand you want something that's going to block the uv resin for when you shine the light because obviously you don't want that to cure if you're going like this you don't want it to cure your big tub of uv resin right so you want to protect that you also want some sort of hanging mechanism so i've just got this random crap here i've got like a big set of tweezers and I've got a clip. This is my expert setup. I just, I go like that, and then I just clip it to this bit of wood. And then I've got, and I've got various other clips. Hold on, you know, little bulbo clips. If I can get them out. And then I can clip stuff to that, basically. So you want some sort of hanging mechanism that's, you know, fairly durable. Right. Here comes the cool part. You just go like this. You just dip it. Completely submerge it. Have your little Tupperware thing underneath. And then just hang it and let it drip off. you want to watch out for is make sure it doesn't pull in areas because when you come to cure it it will create a, an air bubble uh, because there's no uv resin beneath it it'll create like a thin layer and then you've got to like break it and sand it off anyway so best just to go around it and just get rid of any thick areas so it's just a nice thin coat we're going to do two or three anyway so don't worry about that Okay, then you want to protect your UV resin. Boom. Then you want to turn your light on. And you just go like this. Oh my God. How easy is that? And I mean, you can hold it if you want. Obviously, I've got to do this bit beneath the bulldog clip. So I'm just going to go like that. Make sure you get all the angles. Try not to get any UV resin on your fingers and then cure it because it burns. I do about 10 seconds. Make sure it's cured at all angles. All the sides. Don't look at the light. You will burn your retinas off. And then we dip it again. I'm going to do at least two coats, so I'm fully submerging. Protect your UV resin, wacky UV light on it again. You see how I'm waving it around like that? You don't need to do that. Now, I think that's enough. I've done two layers. It is a lot thicker than if you brush it on with a sponge, that, like super thin layers. Because you've dipped it, it does get a nice skin to it. So that's two layers and I can't see the grooves sort of added to 
with the UV resin, if that makes sense. I can see lots of little bits that will need sanding out, but that's it, done. It took, what, 20 seconds? And that's a whole piece done, ready to sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these now, but I won't bore you with it. Um, it'll be much faster for you, so I'll see you in a tick. Okay, you want to grab yourself some isopropyl alcohol and a rag and then you basically want to give it a good soak and just clean all the glue of all of your parts. Getting all the nooks and crannies, all the little angles. They are now dry and hard and ready to sand. Um, try and avoid drips wherever you can, but if you do get them, just sand them off with a bit of 60. But overall, we don't want to scratch these too much because they're a bit delicate. Um, start off with 120, 240, 400, 600. Here we go. 120. The beauty of this method is not just its speed, but its efficiency. You get a nice even coat because it's dipped and then you just let it drip off so it naturally layers. So it's easier to sand because you're not sanding down weird spots and imperfections, except the points where you clamp it. Obviously I've got a bit of gubbins there, but the rest of it, so easy, it takes five seconds, you know what I mean? Hard bits like that, remember, just go down to 60, knock them off. Then go over it with 120. That's it, done, smooth. Right, now we do them all again with 240. Whew. You can see how smooth these are becoming already. So good. Okay, and now 400. And now 600. Done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this method. Please give it a like if you did. Share it with your friends. Uh, there's a list of materials, everything that you need, over on my YouTube channel. So head over there. It's just at Jedi Workshop. Uh, would appreciate a, sh a shub, a sub. And um, don't forget, if you want to make this helmet yourself, you can get it from my website. Use the Boba Fett prototype helmet until I finished this Django, photographed it and listed it on my site. And the uh, annoying little arrows, I am moving up, so it's Django. Who knew, right? I'm gonna study this in detail from the actual films to see what's going on there, but yeah, I'll move those up and uh, you can make yourself a Django. Okay, thanks very much for watching. I'm Ash from Jedi Workshop. Take it easy, peace.